Now I just want you to watch as I make several more selections of different things. Um, I'm, and you can just sort of watch along. I'm going to use my lasso tool. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to use my magnetic lasso tool. Let's do that. Because I want to select my hair out of this layer. And magnetic lasso tool um, will sort of find the edge between two things. I'm going to have to clean up some of the selection when I come back. But I want to be able to try to get all my hair in there. So this just sort of does a nice job of, like I said, finding the edge along something. You can see if in my hair it's having a kind of a difficult time. However, let's see what happens when I'm done. When I'm finished with a magnetic lasso tool, um, I want to try to get it back into a point there and I can double click and it comes off. Sometimes you'll see like a little tiny circle when it's met, the, uh, met itself after the, an end of a selection and that will also finish up the selection. So my hair, um, I'm going to come in here and see whether I got everything I wanted and I'm going to grab my lasso tool, hit the shift key and make sure that I've got everything. Get some of that. Oops, I don't want that. Same thing, I'm going to go into this half moon here, hit solid color. Oh, you can right away see where I missed some. Um, and I'm going to start trying out some different colors in here. I'm not going to leave it um, fl a flat color like that. We'll bring the, the texture back into the hair in just a minute. Um, okay, fine. Prefer, ooh, break yellow. How's that? Um, Okay, so I've selected that out. Um, I'm going to go in here into this layer mask and clean that up. How far did this go down? Uh, don't do that. I just wanted to hit up some of these areas where I think they're too black. Uh, and that's it for the hair selection.